devil. He's so strong, devil. Right, seed potatoes, number two tip. Buy these from a reliable source. Do not try and save money and save them from last year because you will get disease. When you've got your potatoes, you buy them in January, store them in light, airy places until the chits are showing really nice and healthy. If you get too many on one potato, rub it off, stick it in the ground like Sam's dad, not the way Sam did it. Now, broad beans, you can, uh, you can save the seed from last year, and these can go out in uh, November, October, November, if the weather's permitting. If not, leave them till January, they'll soon catch up. Onion, well, these are actually shallots. Um, shallots, you should really plant out in December, and you can see here that uh, Sam's dad has uh, told Sam to plant them out, and uh, they're good a bit, some dying. Mate, can you get him something to do? Um, onions, it's best to don't grow them from seed, buy in sets and, uh, and plant them out as they are over there and, and nicely spaced and you can see there's nice healthy, nice healthy onions here, all nicely laid out in nice neat rows. I'm very impressed with the rows. Thank you. Um, garlic. Uh, oh. Garlic, um, now these need a nice, nice warm sunny position. This would be ideal here, but fortunately there's potatoes. So the same as um, onion sets, and you'll get, as long as the weather is nice and warm, sunny and dry, you'll get some lovely bulbs for your cooking. Brassicas, now, um, Sam and his dad have made this lovely looking cage thing here, but uh, with brassicas, uh, unfortunately they take up a hell of a lot of space, so I would suggest, I would suggest either getting another plot or um, just plant any foo at a time. Uh, say one row of um, collies, spring greens, and so on, but not fill the whole thing up with cauliflowers because they all come at once and who was that? and uh, obviously you'll waste a lot of vegetables by doing it this way so another tip for uh, Sam and his dad um, soft fruits you could grow soft fruits down on the allotments again uh, takes up a lot of space and they're static um, Next door's uh, plot here, we've got lots and lots of lovely strawberries, but uh, you don't need to plant that many. They've got fruit trees. I suggest, come back to me, camera. I suggest um, a nice fruit to grow are autumn raspberries because they, don't, they come late, they're the nice fruit, and they don't get midges in, and they're a beautiful fruit, and you can freeze them, and they last you a long time. Now, flowers, um, apart from, you know, uh, I mean, it's a sad thing that the director cut this out when uh, Sam's dad was trying to teach you about um, fuchsias. Now, flowers are very, uh, very useful on the plot. Uh, obviously, they bring in the insects and the bees. Marigolds are nice uh, to plant in between rows and they'll keep um, some of the fly off your onions. Thank you. Compost. Now, although we're all very impressed with uh, Sam's dad's uh, little ingenious, um, 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 inge uh, yeah. I would have personally uh, just had one, two, three, say four pallets and on along the back, and then you can tip that one into this compartment. And then once that started rotting down, then you move it into your third one, which by that time is a nice, what's the word I'm looking for, Sam's dad? Tilth? Rotted? stuff yeah. can go in the ground yeah. but you know it's going to take a long while for this to uh, actually uh, catch on I think to be fair thanks for uh, thanks for watching or listening um, they were my uh, top eight, eight. eight oh ten 
there could have been 10, possibly eight, top 10 tips. Happy growing, I hope some of it was useful, probably not, but um, there's always books that I have given Sam's dad for reference for the future. Thank you, and uh, see you later. Neville. Neville.